Hello and welcome to the Belgian Open 2022 final stop on the Euro Tour. We have round one, front nine from the FPO, brought to you by MDG Media. I'm Andrew Gum, and alongside me, Elias Lukonen. Hello, guys. My pleasure to be here watching this exciting event. Yeah, they put on a really great event here in Belgium. Jean Louis, Tange, and the crew do an amazing job, and they really uh, make you feel welcome. So, thanks a lot for all that effort by everybody. This is brought to you by RPM Discs, making great discs out there in New Zealand. Make sure you check them out. We have our feature card from the female division here. And we're going to see the players. First, let's have a look at the tour standings. Anakin Stain, who we're going to get to see, she's on the top spot, trying to secure the, the overall tour point standing victory. Yeah, looks like she has already two victories on the tour, so that's a great performance. Yeah, yeah, two wins. Looking to add a third one here. Here's a new face for me, Maria Livamagi from Estonia, currently rated 883. Anakin Stain, seen her before. She's a really good player, lefty. She can throw great forehands and backhands, and she, she, her putting's amazing. She's got yeah. a really great range with the red putter. putter. Yeah, 928 rated. Laura Posh, Austria's finest, three-time Austrian national champion, and a very nice person. I met her in Tali uh, randomly uh, in the summer and played around with her. She was very, very friendly. And rated 909 at the moment. Yeah, she seems super nice. Talked to her a couple times, you know, a really great persona on the course. Yeah, absolutely. Always smiling and happy. And we have Nikola um, Makakova. Yes, I think that was yeah. right. Also a new face for me and name, so it'll be interesting to see what she's bringing to the car. Hole one is a downhill par three, 74 meter island hole. Really cool setting, just get your round started off. There's a, a nice clubhouse tent set up there. They got uh, drinks and food available, a nice pro shop, and uh, really cool atmosphere. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a pretty nervy starting hole, I would say, because the hole is not long, but the island is pretty, sh pretty small. This looks like a great shot, though. Yeah, starting off with the park job there. Nicely done. Uh, you want to get your tournament started for sure. The easy birdie. And it came with the lefty backhand, hanging it out wide and looking forward to Heiser back in time. And it does perfectly. Perfect job. It's really, you can really choose your shots here. You can either go Heiser from left to right or right to left on even the straight shot, as we saw. Laura's looks a little low. I hope, this, okay, no, it's great. Good job. Nicely done. Yeah, she put some good speed on the disc, able to get it over the wall even with such a low shot. Nice smooth hyzer, but is it fading? It needs to stick on the island. Yes, it, does. it does. So four great shots in, in bounds there on the island. Perfect start from our FPO feature card. And really cool to see four nationalities represented. Your European disc golf is the best. It's so exciting. Cola with the putt. That's a great putt to start the round, you know. Always Always nice to get that first kind of a tester putt in the basket on the first hole. Yep, representing the Czech Echia really well. Great birdie start. We might have a star frame here. Yeah, that would be a great start. This is, even though it's a short hole, you almost always see at least one to two players missing the island on the first shot. For sure, nice one there for Laura. Got herself a birdie. Yeah, I've seen I've seen um I think four people miss the island on a card more than once, so it's not as easy as it looks. Looks like the weather is really good here on the first day for the FPO. Yeah, the Sun weather yeah. weather was really great on the first day. You know, very little wind and the sun was out from time to time. Yeah, I had a really early tea time. It might have been the first tea time, and it was uh it was quite cloudy and and uh, wet. I don't know if it was actually raining, but it felt kind of wet but looks like the sun came out and it's a beautiful day yeah but that's a star frame to start the round that's Fantastic. very well done great job ladies moving on to hole two everybody under par 
It's a par 3, 131 meters. Pretty long straight shot. OB lining left and right. Yeah, this is a tough hole. After the very short hole one, this is a... This is definitely a rip. You really have to go with something fast. You have to throw it pretty low because of the low ceiling at the beginning. And the disc has to be pretty much straight the entire way. You know, anything out to the field where you can have a play for three is pretty good. Maybe even possibly we could see a highlight two with a long putt. Let's hope so. And again, pretty good shot. A little low, but she gets it pretty far up there. Should be a pretty routine up and down. Laura putting a pretty good move on this. That's isering out for a bit, but that's going to be just fun, you know. About 35 meters away. Going to be a pretty simple up and down for the par there. That's a good play. Nicola. On to the backhand and... and full flight on that. That's a really great shot. Right in the middle. Yeah, that's well done. Really on this hole... You're not gonna lose with a par, you know. It's a it's a pretty long hole with the, the line is kind of tough. You can't really get the full distance line. Yeah, kind of a bonus birdie really, at that at that distance and nice See, looking up shot there. You touch there, kind of a nose up Potter shots. Equal I'll go into the forehand. Kind of a stable approach disc and Wow, that's disc has no glide. Yep. Nicely done. Checks up right inside the bullseye. Glad I would also the forehand approach. Yep, right on point. Good job. Like a par frame? Yeah. I guess Anakin's got a little bit of work left to do. She's she left it just a little bit short, maybe about seven meters. But this if he makes, if she makes this, it's going to be a great confidence boost, booster at the start of the round. Yep, and, and that's it is. right in the middle. Yeah, she's a great putter. We had a ton of highlights uh, of her on, on disc golf stream at the Yarva, Yarva Open. She was, she was banging them in from everywhere. Really fun to watch. Yeah. She has that kind of a slightly nose-up spinny stroke. Yep. Yeah, and, and really good range too. Nice, nice putt there. Marie, Maria. And the other ones are just pretty much routine tap-ins for a solid par frame. Yeah. I'm sure everybody is very happy with the par on this hole. You know, especially early in the tournament, you probably don't want to go for anything too big here. Yeah, you can't expect too much more. And that's that's pretty much an ideal start for these ladies all, all one down through two. And uh, moving on to hole three. Really beautiful hole, par three, 106 meters. Pretty straight shot, but a lot going on. Coming out from a pretty early tunnel over a creek. OB left and right, and a really pretty green. Yeah, this is a great hole. It really, it really tests your angle control. You have to throw your shot under the low ceiling of the tee, and your disc has to stray perfectly straight. If you find the left side, you're gonna be OB. This looks pretty risky. Mm, yeah, she finds that OB yeah. left side. And there's also OB on the right. And even if you get past the OB on the right, if you finish right off the basket, you're going to be in the woods. This is also challenging the OB. Yeah, just a little too too straight on that one. A little bit left. left in. Let's see if Laura can fix the line here. It's definitely going much more to the right, but that's yeah. oh, what that's a, a nice kick. Miracle there. kick comes out, keeps her in bounds. We'll be happy with that result after tugging it too far right. So this also testing looks like that. it's turning pretty well. Oh yeah, yeah, that's just that's barely great. inside the line. Great, nice shot there. See how aggressive she gets on that with the elevated pin. It might not be too. Too well advised to go for it this yeah. early, early in the round, but I would really not expect her to run from there. Yeah, we'll see how she's feeling. Three's, Lara, three's pretty good on this one. Yeah, yeah sorry. three ahead. three is definitely good. Lara with a with a all right approach inside the circle. Oh, you, 
that was That's unlucky. That's a terrible roll. Yeah, it looked like a really good upshot, but it caught that stump and, and then got edge and rolled, I think, outside the circle almost. Like Yeah. I think she's almost OB. Hopefully just inside the line. That wasn't the best upshot. She's close to the basket, but you, you really don't want to leave it on that right side. Like you said, there's a lot of obstruction over there. Yeah, you don't. Only can kind of... Contesting the bushes, you know. The bushes, quite often, they can kick the disc out, as we saw on Laura's drive, but not this time. That yeah. was a great run there. Yeah, I like that uh, that effort. She was definitely going for the birdie. Yes. Oh, wow. check putt. out that highlight putt for Bogey. What a what a great bounce back after after some terrible luck on the upshot. She yeah. she really earned that Bogey. That's some great mental strength there to make it from outside the circle after the roll away. Absolutely. Lara with a good pot as well. Yeah, solid right in the chains. Perfect commitment. Could, can be a scary pot with that elevated basket and the drop off behind, but nailed it. And a nice par as well from Nicola. Yeah. These are some pretty impressive pots. This basket location is not really set up for big, big pots, especially from outside the circle. Good job there with the cleanup. Yep. So, uh... Yeah, kind of surprisingly, the drive was what what made the hole most difficult for them. And not the putting, even though the basket location is kind of difficult. Yeah, two bogeys and two pars, not too bad for the card. A nice highlight putt as well. Hole four is a par three, 97 meters. Pretty straight shot, OB right and left and behind. Some some big trouble to find yourself in if you missed the line early. Pretty uh, pretty cool hole. It's a cool hole. You know, you really have to hit the gap off the tee and get your disc to hold straight. This looks like a great uh, shot. Speaking of hitting the gap, Laura yeah. just pipes that one. She's great got job. A, got herself all the way up to circle one. Yeah. This is this hole is also quite a bit uphill. So even though the length is shorter than the last hole, this plays I think much longer. Maria with the with the forehand. Pretty good line, needs to stay out the trees. That's going to be alright. Anakin won the Coca Doll. I remember some commentary on that. Yeah, I'm s I'm sure she is looking forward to at least giving a good chance for herself to win this event as well. Yeah, and the whole tour if she performs well. Yeah. So a lot to play for here at the Belgian Open. I'm pretty sure that for her to win the entire tour, it would be enough for her to be like in third or fourth place as well. Yeah, I think I remember hearing someone say she needed a podium finish to secure the, the victory. So. Yeah. So she's aiming for the top three, but uh, of course a win would be the icing on the cake. Yeah, and you know, knowing that top three is enough, she maybe even has a bit of a chance to play some shots a bit safer from the start because she knows she doesn't have to go for that hot round every single time. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. That would be a smart game plan, being aware of the of the tour point title at stake and uh, not having to take too many risks in that regard. Yeah. Good clean up there by Nicola. Yeah, nicely done. You know, another elevated basket here. I have seen this exact basket cause some trouble for a lot of players. Yeah, it's really high up there on that on that really neat uh, pyramid. It is, yeah. Logo it's, with the MDG. I feel like it's almost uh, almost a meter higher than a regular basket. Yeah, it can definitely change things a little bit on the green. You know, you got to think a little bit more about whether you're willing to give it a go or not, knowing that the comeback is going to be a, a lot longer if you miss it. Nice par there from Laura. Par frame, I guess. Solid. Or no, it wasn't, was it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Sorry. Solid. Oh, yeah. Good job there. You know, it's it's a decent hole to take a par. The uphill really makes it play pretty long, and uh, the line is quite precise. 
Yeah, I didn't see a ton of birdies on the weekend there on that one. Didn't get it myself either. Hole five, par four, 172 meters, moving left to right. And uh, just trying to position yourself somewhere around here to have a, have a clean uh, second shot through the tight tunnel. Yeah, it's going to be interesting the, the way these players are going to handle this hole because you can either off the drive, you can go kind of inside and go for the aggressive drive or you can play it more on the left side of the fairway this out to like the open here laura's testing that ob and yeah she's found it yeah that's the problem with the left side there is more room on the left and you're farther away from the trees but uh the ob really comes into play forehand plays well on this hole but that was just too much inside he's she's gonna be she's gonna be in the woods there yeah, not a good place to be. It's super thick in there. Yeah. I took a big number. This know, looks like a better line. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. That's perfect. Nice. That's where you want to be. Great shot there. That was just right. I saw her card, card mates make the mistake left and right, and she found it right in the center. So. Yeah. Maria's definitely going to have a straight shot towards the basket. This looks pretty good as well. That's great for Mannequin. Yeah. Smashes perfect drive. It. Way up there, right into the sweet spot. Yeah, the last two drives were just perfect. They're going to have straight shots towards the basket. You know, even though you throw the perfect drive and you have the straight look towards the basket, it's it's not an easy approach. It's low ceiling and it's still a good way to the basket. They're going to have, I think, about 80 meters to the basket. Yeah, it's a tough hole for sure. Birdie, birdie feels really great, I'm sure. Nicola kind of struggling with the right side. Let's see. Maria hitting the gap very well there. She's going to have a look from circle too. Yeah, nicely done. Yeah, that's a good result on this hole. It's definitely it's definitely one of the harder holes out here. If Anakin can get up and down for the birdie from prime position a little bit early on the release, but it's I like oh, this. it works great. Yeah, that's perfect. Great okay. shot. Beautifully done. Yeah, it definitely did look like she released it kind of on the right side of the fairway, but I think she knew that disc perfectly. It flipped yeah. up flipped up flat really quickly and rode rode straight all the way, and she's gonna have a, a inside circle putt for birdie. Yeah. Really well committed shot. That's that's a bit of a grip lock there. You know. Having the having the difficult stance there. Yeah, it's a it's a tough tough up and down. It's it's tighter than it looks, I think, on uh, on camera here. There. Yeah, from the middle here, Laura with a good shot, but from the middle, it's a pretty easy shot. But if you're off to the side like this, then you have to do all sorts of things, you know, straddle out. That was kind of a straddle out forehand there. Leaving circle two putt. Oh, nice height and speed, but just a little bit left on that bid from, from deep circle two. I like her aggression on the green though. She's really going for those long yeah. range putts, so she didn't she didn't come to lay up. I like to see that. She's having a good round too, still bogey free. Yeah. If uh Anakin can make good for Birdie here. Yes, she can. Beautiful putt. <laughs> A great birdie. Yeah, this is definitely a birdie that will gain you some strokes. Most definitely. As we can see on our card. Yeah. And Anakin really executed that perfectly. All all three of those were just perfect shots. Yeah. Nicola with the cleanup. That's solid. You know, even even taking a triple bogey, it's important to get that. Last putt in the basket, right in the middle. Just to give yourself that little bit of confidence boost. Yeah, that's that's true. Every stroke counts and Maria with the nice par and Laura tapping in the bogey after going OB. Thanks to Zuka for their support of this coverage. Make sure you support them and get yourself some of their great products. Hole six is a long, straight, 
tunnel shot, par four, 165 meters. Really just got to pipe this gap, no other option. Yeah, it's really a tight gap off the tee. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to reach for the driver off the tee. You only need, you only need to cut the hole in half. And after you get the, after you get out the first tube, then it's going to be a much more open shot towards the basket. Yeah, and it's even okay to be a little bit left once you come out of the gap because that opens up like a hyzer approach. But you you don't want to move to the right side because there's not really too much to work with on that side. Yeah, straight or a little bit left out of the gap is okay. Anniken going with a really low forehand there. He's in the middle, but she didn't get too far. Yeah, still, still a pretty decent result. That's a good play, you know. Going low reduces the possible tree kick if you miss the gap. Yeah, it's a great game plan. Like you like you mentioned, she can play a little safer trying to play for the tour victory. That might be part of the game plan. Try to mitigate those really uh, major damage kicks right or left. Just keep it low and tight. Yeah. Maria also throwing a good forehand kind of finishing to the right as well as Laura. But they're all in a decent position there. Nico, uh, a little early left, but she <laughs> seems to make pretty good progress. Up that left side didn't didn't really hit anything early anyway. Yeah, the left side it does have some gaps to it, but it's definitely yeah looks like she has a decent gap to get to the fairway. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. Pretty good move on this one too. That's gonna yeah. be right in the middle. That's perfect. You know, great angle control there. It's very difficult from the left side. It's easy to overturn your shot, and then you're going to be on the right side. It looks like Onikin is kind of going... Go on that back door. Yeah. I must imagine that was an accident, because the back door is there, but the regular fairway is much better, much more clear. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty tight line and really low ceiling on that side, and it's pretty hard to access the pin, really. Yeah. But um, she kicked to the right side anyway. Now she's going to have to scramble either way. Yeah. So. Maria with the lean out forehand just trying to get to the fairway. She Laura, seems Laura, to... yeah. Uh, well, oh, Ma oh, oh, Maria just... Maria, yeah, just yeah, excuse me. me. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah don't worry. <laughs> yeah, right, right. she seems to be on the right edge of the fairway. Let's hope she has some sort of shot from there. Lara with the same. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nicely done. That's well done. Oh, oh squirrel. Nice there's definitely some great nature out in this park. That's you know, true. A, yeah, there was a, I saw a really friendly cat both a couple of days in a row. And uh, yeah, nice nature appreciation moment there with that squirrel happily hopping down the fairway. Yeah. Laura with a beautiful upshot That's here. perfect. Almost hits the post and settles up right outside the bullseye. Nicely done. Great shot. You know, on this hole, you have that kind of a upslope before the basket. So you can kind of throw it pretty hard to the upslope. Yeah, and it's gonna slow her disc down. Oh Ooh. wow, what a run that was! That's a great run, hitting the basket from fifty meters away. That was sick. Follow with a similar approach, just hitting the hillside before the basket. That's perfect. Yeah, nice one. And you can, she is kind of forced to go down the back door route of the fairway. You know, that's not ideal, but once you end up there, it's pretty much the only way to go. And she still has some work left. Oh, now she's on the other side. A little bit struggles here for Manikin. She's, she's still out. Yeah, still having to go with the forehand there. Yeah, not, not in a very comfortable place either after. Going four still. and Yeah, yeah does, but... does well to get up, get up to the basket there, but... This is definitely one hole that you can take a big number on. So, you know, getting the par here, for example, is that's pretty much ideal. Yeah, well played from Laura. Some really, really great upshots from these ladies on the. Yeah. Get the pars. I think par, par is definitely gonna gain you strokes on this hole, at least on average. Maybe maybe not on this card, but on average for sure. Well, they played it really well. Oh, okay, it was a double bogey from Anakin. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Got got into some pretty tough, tough spots there, but uh, 
still having a good round. Moving on to hole seven, par three, 84 meters. Tunnel shot with the low ceiling and then a lot of late obstruction here, as you can see, these like group of trees, six or seven trees that you gotta beat and then make your way to this really beautiful green built up terrace. Really unique, fun hole to play. It is, yeah. And off the drive, you really have to pick and choose whether you want to go right side of the of the said seven trees. If you choose to go right side, there's still kind of one tree right in the middle. Or you can take this route that oh. Maria is throwing just beautifully. She hit that clean. Yeah, which is the which is the left side, kind of a flex forehand play. Yeah, and that'll give you kind of a circle's edge putt. Pretty smart play. Or you can pipe it like this. Oh, she's just unlucky not to beat that last yeah. year. It looked like it was going right through there, but that's it's kind of uh, pretty tough to get all the way through there. You know, it's uh, quite a tight line in the end of it. It is, yeah. Oh, that but yeah, that was a that was a decent shot, but it was just a bit too high. You know, the branches on this hole are pretty strong, so if you're gonna hit any of the branches, you're most likely just going to drop straight down. Looks pretty good, but it catches one of those trees and Yeah. Anniken kind of unable to decide whether she wanted to go right or left of the trees and just ended up straight into them. Laura going at it. Oh my wow. goodness! Wow. Incredible from 40 Whoa. meters. Oh, what a super great highlight from Laura. Posh. That's such a touchy forehand too, but that's actually what you can do on this hole. You know, if you're far away, you can kind of run it. Oh, we got a catch cam angle too yeah. for, the, for the replay. This is so sick. Check it out. Perfectly Perfect right. Perfect line. No On wobble. The money. Wow. Wow. That's, that's one of the best forehand throw-ins I've seen in a long time. Yeah, that's a great shot. Beautifully done. Is now, Anakin trying one? to get her some. Ooh, Ooh, good bid. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. They're really taking advantage of the backstop here. I like that. Yeah, and that's uh I like the energy on this card. They're going for highlights. Yeah. Not a shy bid there either. Yeah. Oh, but oh, a little bit of bad luck. Roll away there. You don't see that too much on this one. I just caught no. edge somehow and didn't didn't check up, but she's still inside the circle. A little bit a little bit awkward maybe. We'll we'll see. I hope we can get it in for the par. Another one? Oh. Definitely going at it. Yeah. I love what I'm seeing here. This is fun. You know, that's that's not only, you know, good energy for the card, but also that's a smart play, you know, running for the basket while you can. Yeah, exactly. Really, really well calculated aggression indeed, yeah. Nice clean up there from Anakin and... Uh... But yeah, Laura kind of stealing the show here with the throw-in. That was... That was... So cool. Yeah. Great birdie. Nice par there. After a really, really good bid as well on the on the long birdie look. Kind of an unfortunate bogey there from Nicola, but um Yeah, that roll was pretty pretty uncommon in that hole. Yeah, just bad luck, but Let's see if she can bounce back here on hole eight. It's a par three, eighty meters, slightly downhill. Pretty, pretty uh, straightforward shot. Just kind of um, hit, hit something straight and flat, and try to let it uh, check up close to the basket. You maybe you want it to land somewhere just on the circle's edge and scoot. Yeah, exactly. This is definitely one of the most sim, one of the simplest holes on the course. Looks like Laura has thrown a perfect shot here. She's so good at these shots. Yeah, these, these straight shots. She she does that like every time. That's not a you know, not a fluke at all. Yeah. She's on point with those those straight shots. Like that was perfect, you know, just landing the disc flat. Yeah. About five to ten meters before the basket. Really good for the speed control. Maria with the unconventional forehand on this hole. Yeah, it worked out pretty good. Circle's edge might be a little bit tricky to get around that tree, but uh, hopefully she can connect for birdie. Anakin's really Anakin, good at these straight yeah. shots too, but this one maybe doesn't get it to turn quite as much. Yeah, it was looked like it was leaking off to the right side, but it got a pretty good kick back to the middle. She'll have a long circle two bid, but that's in her range. Yeah, for sure. It needs to turn for a bit. Flip up, but no, early left side. Yeah. Kind of challenging the left side. It's easy to do if you go with more of a hyzer flip kind of shot. But yeah, 
Laura really showed us the way on this hole. That was the perfect line, wasn't it? And getting it to, to settle up inside the bullseye like that, not as easy as it looks. Or as she made it look, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not easy. Check out the focus here from Monica. She's definitely running this. Ah, oh, oh, chains out left almost. side. She's, she's one of the best circle two putters I've seen in the FPO division. Yeah. I like the I like the line that she puts on, you know, the direct kind of spin putt. Yep. Good aggression. Really gives the disc a chance to go in the basket. For sure. Good par there from Nicola. You can see Laura just waiting for her turn. She's so parked. It looks like she's gonna finish out last even after everybody else has thrown their third shot already. Yeah, and that's two birdies in a row, putting her under par for the round. Yeah, that's great to do on the front nine, since the front nine is definitely more difficult of the two nines. Great birdie there from Laura, and a hot start. Yeah. She got herself a lead here. Really clean round so far. Amazing. Hole nine, par four, 152 meters, left to right off the tee, way uphill, and pretty tight, Cap. Yeah. This is a very difficult par four for its distance. You know, only 152 meters would suggest that it would be a soft par four, but that's simply not true. You know, that drive has to be precise. The sweet spot is kind of small. You know, if you're a bit left, or a bit right, you can still kind of attack for the basket. But you know, ideally you would have to be in the middle. Yeah, and the grade of that incline is, is much more dramatic than the camera shows. Yeah, that's very much true. That works out really well for Laura. Yeah, that's she a great drive from Laura. You know, going kind of a straight backhand line, she kind of risks the couple of first trees on the right. But if she hits the gap between them, then it's got to be perfect every time. Shapes up pretty good for the lefty. And uh, Anakin's got great great power with her backhand and forehand. She's a really well-balanced player. Yeah. Oh, a little bit bad reaction on the end of that, but still, still good distance anyway. Yeah. She made good progress there. Maybe she's going to be a little bit on the left side of the fairway. Yeah, if that could have got a little bit of a skip, maybe towards the middle, it would have been quite perfect, but yeah, still, still decent. Nicola with a decent shot, kicking down to the fairway of the tree. And still forehand here from Maria. Ooh, that's a bad kick off the tree. The right side is going to be very difficult if you kick a bit further in there. Yeah, that's that's some rough rough over there. Nicola probably playing for the fairway. Not really possible to reach the basket from here. Okay, yeah, I thought she was going to go with the, the high Anheuser around the tree, but she she piped the laser beam low, and that worked out pretty good. Yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah, Laura has, has she has kind of a Anheuser look at the basket. Ah, uh, just kind of came out a little early, I guess, and didn't didn't work out too well, but. Part is still possible. Yeah, Anakin got a little pinched after that bad reaction off the tree, but she makes makes good work of that shot with the forehand. She's she's really skilled with that. Yeah. Gets it in the middle. Very well-rounded player. You know, getting, getting in the middle of the fairway after two shots and having a chance at par on this hole, that's very good, you know. With a par on this hole, you're definitely going to have some strokes on the field. Yeah, Laura with really no choice but to just pitch back to the fairway. She was in a tight spot. Yeah, kind of leaving the approach low left. That's going to be a long putt. This looks like a better line. Still a bit short. This hole is... The approach is much more uphill than the camera shows, you know. So you have to kind of throw the disc almost long off the basket so that you're going to be under the basket. Yeah, for sure. That was a nice upshot from Anakin. She should be okay from there. 
At uh, Circle's Edge, I guess. For... Yeah, we have some... Some longer pots here. Oh, almost another highlight yeah. from Lara. Hitting the band from way deep. That was She's a good gonna... run from there. Circle 2, look. Chains oh. out, left side. Good bid, though. That looked like it almost could have stayed. If it just hit the chains a bit different. Sure. Ah, just mm. a little soft on that one from Maria. Let's see if Oni can, can clean up this. Clean up his or uh, her. Yeah, going for par. It's inside the circle, but uh, it's a little uphill. You can see the focus in her eyes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got it. He's a great, great putter all around, inside, outside, everywhere. Tap in double bogey for Laura. Unfortunately, after a really good drive, she kind of got uh, missed her upshot and then found herself in a bit of trouble. Yeah. Luckily, she had a good bit of a buffer with those two birdies back to back before this hole. Yeah. Oh, she's the, still even par, which is, a, which is a good front nine here. For sure. Yeah, not the finish she wanted to the front nine, but still, still a great start. She's in the lead at even par. There we see it. Anakin there, one behind her, and Maria at plus two. Nicola plus four after a little bit uh, struggles on hole five and a couple bogeys there at the end, but he's still playing really well, and I'm uh, really, really impressed with her game overall. Yeah. Everybody was playing some good disc golf on the front nine there. You can see our players being the top f top four players in the field right now. Yep, so we're seeing the best of the action here on this card, and... Uh, Make sure you come on back to join us for the back nine. This has been uh, round one coverage of the Belgian Open 2022 from MDG Media. Thank you, everybody, and we'll see you on the back nine.